Okay, Star Wars fans, here's the next little tip I got for you. This is how to duplicate the handmaiden's robes for all it's worth. You talk to the handmaiden when she's not equipped with any armor. You ask her, can you put the clothes on? You give the first response on your Xbox controller. Just press A. Disagree. Say, never mind, I'll be going. And when she's wearing those robes there, go to where the handmaiden is. And what you want to do is unequip her robes. And you want to do that ten times. As you see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the next one is something else. So, with exactly ten robes made by repeating that little conversation with a handmaiden on the Ebon Hawk, then you leave the ship. As you leave the ship, make sure to put handmaiden in your party. The main difference between this glitch and the one where before she's a, a, a Jedi that I made, where you just duplicate her the guns and the armor and the wristbands, the thing on your head, uh, and the, the, the gloves and an implant, that's what you do if you want to make a whole lot of really good items. Like you want to give every single one of your characters a really kick butt Mandalorian Ripper, like the Vimal Sienna Strength Enhancers, or whatever kind of stuff. This one here is much more useful for getting lots more credits and lots more components. As you see, we're here at Dantooine. Now, let's see, we, we left her off with 10. Now we have 99 Handmaiden's Robes. You can't really see that it's 99. So what we will do is we'll go to our little droid merchant friend here. Because, you know, whenever you sell something, you, you can always see how many credits you're going to get for it. See his wares. Go to your sell list. Go to your armor. And now from making 10 handmaidens robes, you now have 99 handmaidens robes worth 3,000 credits each. As you see, I already have half a million credits, mostly from this little glitch. So you can just keep on selling them as much as you want. And then if you want to uh, break them down for components at a workbench, you get around 200 components each. So that would be 200 times 100. Do the math and uh, enjoy letting her uh, help you out. All right, rock and roll. May the force be with you. <laughs>